So you want to connect your domain from GoDaddy inside Shopify. Welcome back to ZexPress. Let's see how we can get started really fast. I'm going to go here and open two tabs. The first tab should be GoDaddy and the second one should be Shopify. So I have already signed it in from GoDaddy and Shopify. So the first thing that I wanted to do is to go directly into GoDaddy and go into my account and choose my products. Once you choose my products, you want to go directly into your domains. And here, this is the one that I wanted to import to Shopify. So I'm going to hit into manage. And as you can see, here is my domain, the overview, the DNS and the products. I'm going to hit into DNS. Now here, I'm going to just leave this like that. And now I'm going to go back into Shopify. Let's go down here where it says settings. Inside settings, what you wanted to do is to focus into domains. Now into domains, what I want to do is to choose the option that says connect existing domain. Now here, what I want to do is to go back. I'm going to copy this domain that I have inside GoDaddy. I'm going to paste that in here. Let's hit into next. And now, as you can see here is my domain. So let's go into follow setting instructions. Inside the instructions here, what you want to do is to now go back, verify connection. And usually it's going to be telling you that the domain connection is incomplete, but you have now this instructions that you can add directly into your GoDaddy. So that means that we need to add two different records. So let's go ahead and add the first one. The one is called a record. I'm going to go back. Now inside the DNS tab, let's go for DNS records, add new record. Here the type, in this case, it should be an actual A record. So I'm going to choose A. Now into name should be at. Let's go for at. The value should be exactly this one. So I'm going to copy this required value. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back here. And there we go. I'm going to go and TTL leave this just like that. Now let's go into add another value. Now I'm going to hit into save. And I'm going to add a new record. The second one should be C name. So let's go here into type and choose C name. Now inside name should be triple W and into value. What I want to do is to copy this information and paste it in here. This one should be leaving in like that. Once again, I'm going to hit into save and there we go. So the two values are now inside here. We have the two records of Shopify added. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go into verify connection just to make sure that we have just done this correctly. And just like that, we have the double S pending. So that's just a security process that you need to fill inside the actual domain section of your hosting. Just make a quick verification and you're actually good to go. So there you have it, guys. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. You have now ready to access this actual website. As you can see, into the upper side, we have my store. Not set it yet, but into the upper side, I do have now the URL that I have just purchased it with GoDaddy. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time. See you soon.